Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Line Place of the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. We are still hunting raw liver. We're still rolling with a pretty excellent win streak here. I believe it's the second highest I've ever had. Oh no, we're gonna lose it. <laughs> Again, uh, the typical protocol with the lost is to die to a mullaboom right off the bat. So there goes that streak. No hard feelings. All right. Randoming again. Don't, I was try. I wasn't trying to get myself killed against that mullaboom. Don't question it. Easy come, easy go. I suppose we're not that worried about streaking anyway. He says, wiping tears from his eyes. J three zero zero G three J T four. I really. I saw that like Isaac's room there, and I was like, oh, we can get like another black market. If it had been pretty much anything but mullabooms, I think we would have had a. Very good chance of, you know, getting the bombs necessary to make it happen. But if you look back at, like, the other lost runs I've lost right off the bat, Mullabooms have an extremely high, you know, incidence rate. Which is bullshit. Oh, we're gonna do this. It's gonna be a silly episode. Alright. Um, let's, let's re-roll our whole shit. Doesn't matter. See what we get. We only have, like, one item. So, I think we're pretty much exactly the same right now. On the bright side, that barely counts when it comes to, uh... You know, re-rolling so f hard that you, you know, re-roll into breakfast. Have you ever re-rolled so hard that you turned into breakfast? Anyway. You get Lord of the Flies usually out of it anyway. But that's not good enough to carry you, unless you also have some kind of good tier effect, which you won't because you'll be 100% breakfast. Never be 100% breakfast is what I'm trying to say. So, we've already committed to full absurdity on this run, given that I lost my streak about 10 seconds in. You know me, I was committed to making that lost run work, but also as soon as as soon as I had a convenient excuse to not play the lost again, which was that we died 10 seconds in, uh, there's my prerogative to get the fuck out of there and play as a character that gives us a little bit more of a positive chance to, you know, get raw liver would be one of those things that I'd be considering. Yeah, I'll open it. That was a good choice, I'd say. Probably the best choice possible. Maybe a secret room. Oh, it's not there. Thank God I already used my bomb, so I didn't waste it on trying to find the secret room in a situation where it could not be. That's one way to think of it. Now, no matter what he gives us, we're going to have to take it and then reroll it in a room anyway, so... I actually think that we've probably upped our damage a little bit on that D4 reroll. I have no idea what we upped it. Did we even reroll anything? We have no items as Blue Baby, except for the D4. Like, we started with the poop. And then we rerolled like what we had, which was just our base stats. We might actually just be exactly the same as we were at the start here. But now we'll have an extra spirit heart. Or maybe we're rerolling like our HP upgrades. I hope the D4 can't accidentally kill you, or maybe I hope it can because it would be funny. But we'll see. You can D4 into items that are part of the item room pool. So unfortunately, we won't be able to reroll into raw liver. And if you have an issue with that, uh, you take it up with somebody else. That's like spider... Spider bite? Or is it spider baby? I think that might be spider baby on... Yeah, it's spider baby. Spider bite would be awesome. Spider baby is not worth very much for us at all, all things considered. I wonder if the D4 rerolls your items within their pools, though. Like, if we get a secret room item and then reroll it, would it reroll into another secret room item? Similarly, like, if we got a deal with the devil item, re-roll it, would it re-roll into another deal with the devil item? If so, that could actually be pretty valuable, I think. For now, getting Spider Baby is just pretty much straight up terrible. We'll still take whatever deal with the devil items we can get, largely because... It just gives us an extra item, and the more items we have for re-roll, uh, the, the better chance we have of good items, but also the better chance we have of just having a, a zany run altogether. We're not going to use the D4 forever, but we'll use it, you know, somewhat prodigiously until we get a combination that is interesting. Oh, Proptosis, I love you. I'm so sad that we're not going to see much more of you, because pretty soon you're going to be taken away from me. But we'll save tonight and fight the break of dawn. Come tomorrow. Tomorrow you'll be gone. One last room. Not even going to be the boss room, sadly enough. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to go to the boss room with Proptosis. I've earned it. Probably. Through some measure. It's not like we're going to have any shortage of rerolls on this run anyway. LJ, you are about to be D-E-A-D. -E That's good wordplay there, you know. You can tell I used to be an English teacher. I say that? I wasn't really an English teacher. I was basically like a babysitter with a, a side, you know, order of, of English teaching. But sometimes people use that, they're like, you made a mistake when you were speaking. I'm not gonna reroll that. 
because I want the spirit hearts for now. Oh, that's interesting. Like, you made a mistake when you were speaking. How were you ever an English teacher? And I'm like, well, you know, it's basically just teaching it to small Korean children who didn't speak the language to begin with. So, we're going to be doing, like, stupid damage. I think we have Cursed Eye. Like, was that what was working with technology there? I'm just going to head down to the next floor. Oh, there was, like, a Spirit Heart I think I didn't pick up. But we're, we're still great on HP, and we should be doing great on damage as well. Uh, although, that will be a little bit more of a conundrum as time goes on. Great. Uh, perfect time for a Skype message. It's, like, fucking 9 p.m. Pacific time. Why are you motherfuckers in bed? Rob sending out a YouTube link. Come on, dog. Play some Hearthstone or something. So we're going to pick this up to give us uh, the guppy precedent, which will stick with us. Might save us if we end up breakfasting ourselves. This awesome setup that we have is going to be super rerolled. Not quite doing as much damage as I thought. Is it Cursed Eye? I don't know if it's Cursed Eye. I guess it doesn't really matter, all things considered, but... In a weird way, I am kind of looking forward to the reroll here. It might not even be as much damage as Proptosis was. Maybe that's why I feel like I'm not doing very much damage. Because we just had Proptosis, so I'm like, ugh, this is not as good. But Proptosis is probably one of the best damage items in the game. So that it paints a fairly unflattering, but also unfair picture of uh, what our current run may be. Or may not be. Please, 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 please. Oh, God, it worked. Okay, you're gonna give me Midas Touch. I like that we're gonna be able to reroll that. We're just gonna have to swallow it and uh, ingest its power first. I would like to get whatever we can get from that uh, secret, or not secret room shop, to be honest with you. We're gonna have to wait a little bit though. Thank you, Spider. Well, thank you, Spider, for also helping to make this great game. But also thank you, Spider, that we got for some reason. Should have kicked that in one direction, but whatever. Um, we got PhD, we got like, uh, Ball of Tar, speed upgrade sticks with us, I think. We got Attack Fly, rotating in the opposite direction that I would normally expect, that's weird. And we have no idea how much HP we have, which is, seems like it's probably going to be very deleterious. Damage is still okay though, I imagine this is probably the proper way to get to our boss fight. You know what, our damage actually sucks. <laughs> Took us like four shots to kill that bomb fly. There we go. Um, let's just hope our HP is doing okay. Attack fly, our principal damage dealer. That's the worst, isn't it? Oh, that was really dumb. Peep, stand still. He didn't stand still, guys. I probably walked right into that. Be careful over here. Don't lose this run, too. This is... Uh, it's getting a little embarrassing. I mean, via Abaddon, we should have a a lot of HP left. But that can change pretty effing quickly. Okay, that was the, it's the worst timing on these jumps. Just stand still long enough to get dick fucked. Oh my god. I'm actually embarrassed, but we are still alive, so that's nice. And uh, we get an evil upgrade here, which hopefully the black heart sticks with us. I want to finish this floor off so we can reroll the shit out of it. Good lord, that was annoying. Now we already see our uh, our item room in our shop. We got to get some pills too to make you know good use of PhD. We got a Degas rune. Oh, we can see our HP. Okay, so it was not uh, it was actually not that bad. We could have taken a deal with the devil, but we didn't get one anyway. I think. I hope I didn't mess that up. Never become immune to the status effect, please. As far as I'm concerned, if it makes them slow to walk on it, it should make the bombs slow to travel on it as well. Mr. Mega. Uh, we get the five bombs out of it, which is pretty valuable. And then we're going to reroll the bejesus out of it in a second. We This is like some of the coolest we've ever looked, though. We got like a Shadow Bomberman thing going on. And of course, we get uh, no actual item. I forgot we had Dark Bomb as well. How long have we had Dark Bomb for? You know, go pick up those Spirit Arts, because we're about to get rid of your ass, so... If you could go pick up the the red hearts, please. Thank you for placing that in a, an opportune area. Much appreciated. I know there's another red heart. Oh, there's more on that individual level, actually. All right, we'll 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 play until he gets one more payout, and then we'll be on our merry way. I don't think this one will do it. Oh, it did. Okay. So... 
Next, we will do one more room of combat and then begin the process of transmuting into a completely different character. I'm hoping to get some of the special tiers soon. You know, that that's pretty much where I tend to call the, the rerolls. After I get Ludo, after I get Brimstone, after I get Mom's Knife, Quad Shot, 2020. We'll handle it that way. I just rerolled into Pyro, that's for sure. And Triple Shot. Very, very, very slow firing Triple Shot. We also have... Is that Cancer? I can't stress enough. I'm holding the button down. This is the speed we fire at. It's like one shot every, you know, two seconds, maybe. One... One Mississippi... One Mississippi, two, yeah, it's like one and a half seconds. Uh, the bombs? Just normal bombs. I don't think I'm in love with this option that we have right here. I'm liking the HP, but I'm not loving the, uh, I'm not loving the DPS. We'll see, though. We'll see. We've got some status effect, clearly. Don't know if we have, like, lump of coal or what this, uh, like, gray shot is. We had that on an earlier run. It doesn't appear to be Strange Attractor. Doesn't seem like it's anti-grav. We gotta reroll the shit out of this. It might be doing decent damage, but it's so effing slow. I'm sorry to lose triple shot in our rotation. Happy to have Pyro, because I don't think that our, uh, I don't think that our consumables will get rerolled. Hope not, at least. Oh, we got two guppy items. And broke even on the secret room. So the guppy dream is becoming a reality. I'm looking at the rooms and I'm like, man, it's a surprisingly long time until we can get a reroll. I don't like that. Look, I know I took damage in the process there. I'm happy to do it if it speeds this room up. I think that helped out a lot. And we can't do shit with that. Don't love the idea of a big room, but, you know, these enemies fire slowly and are fairly predictable, even though they still hit me all the fucking time. So all I gotta do is make the best use of Sacrificial Dagger that I can. If I didn't have Sacrificial Dagger, I would be exceptionally sad right now. I appreciate that. We'll take Liberty Cap. That sticks with us. And it doesn't really matter what item we get in here. We should just walk into this room and be like, oh, an item. Another thing to reroll. That's, you know, it's a good thing. I think. Good items tend to hold precedent over bad items. Se exceptions, you know, soy milk and stuff like that. This is not the zany run I'm looking for, though. That, uh, yeah, I, I have nothing to offer my own defense for that damage. That worked pretty well. One last room, and we can get rid of this nightmare fuel. Eventually, we're going to have to pay the tax. You know, we're going to have to get... Uh, thought I'd check it out. Do we still have PhD? It's still possible. Um, eventually, we're going to have to deal with... A, a fetus item. So we got really high rate of fire, Bob's brain, fire mind, tech 0.5. Honestly, this is a great run. Mom's wig also. This might be where I call it here. It's a little zany. The zaniness is not, you know, out of control. We obviously do not have PhD. Um, but it's really nice and the potential for synergy is already there and can get better in the future. I think this is probably where we'll look to get rid of our D4. I'm a big proponent of the D4, not just as a silly item, but as a um, as a good strategic item. I think the way you use it is you uh, you reroll until you get a combination you love, and you know, tech point five plus fire mine plus some other shit is is something I love. You know what? We got a couple of chances here, so let's do it up, and then I'll get rid of it. Oh, I love 2020. That might be 2020 soy milk. I guess we can't really tell. Let's go see if we do some damage to enemies. If we do damage to enemies, this is where I'm going to stop with it. Yeah, we do a lot of damage. Okay. So we'll be looking to get rid of our, uh... We'll be looking to get rid of our D4 now. I almost, in some ways, do feel like the D4 is kind of an overpowered item. I know that's going to sound ridiculous, because it gives you a terrible chance to reroll your shit into some terrible shit, but... I think it gives you too many chances. I mean, I, I hope it doesn't get nerfed. I hope it doesn't get changed, anyway. But it does make it pretty difficult to have a terrible run. As long as you just consistently reroll, but stop when you're ahead, you know? You gotta... You gotta not fall victim to the gambler's fallacy. Yes, we could get a much better... Permutation of items than the one we have. In fact, the, the Fire Mind Bob's Brain one might have been better. But 2020 high rate of fire. Full HP. I don't know what our 1-up is there, like our extra life. It might be a 1-up, it might be something completely different. 
truth be told, I'm not sure it really matters. Uh, is that light just from Spelunker's head? Or do we maybe have like a little uh, little wafer thing going Oh, we got Taurus? I should have known that. I was like, what are those horns? Ah, whatever, just accept it. Taurus is good enough to be excited about. We did get a deal with the devil. And our deal with the devil is going to give us Fear Shot. And we can uh, totally feel good about taking Satanic Bible in this situation. Goodbye, D4. I uh, wanted to get rid of you before you completely ruined our run by giving us Lord of the Flies and Breakfast exclusively. Great pills. Should have been looking for the secret room. I should have been looking for the secret room. I should always be looking for the secret room. 96 bombs. We're looking for raw liver. Oh, that was weird. Good pheromones pickup, I guess, but... Very lucky to, to have the items that we have. I'm excited here. I, this should be a one run. We're not 100% over the, you know, the hump yet, but we should get there pretty easily. I think we've set ourselves up too nicely to, to be concerned. Plus, we're on Necropolis 1, and we still have uh, two item rooms and two shops and a number of deal with the devil opportunities to go. So I'd, I'd say we're already pretty powerful, and it's only going to get better in the future. I actually I feel good about our D4 usage. It's always going to be some people who want you to use it more, and occasionally some people that want you to use it less. But uh, we haven't had 2020. Very dumb decision on my part. We haven't had 2020 very much naturally, so to to get it on a performance enhanced run like this is actually totally fine by me. Look, dude, you're you're barking up the wrong tree here. We did get a deal with the devil. We also got a spirit heart from Latch Key. And a lump of coal pickup here would be awesome. Krampus' head would be less awesome, but I appreciate it. it's the thought that counts. Easy fight regardless. Ah, whatever. That's okay. Look into these eyes. Search their soul. If you find me, let me search no more. I see that we have a dice room. Kind of scares the shit out of me, I'll be honest with you. But because of the ridiculousness of it, if it's a one, I'll do it. If it's a six, I'll do it. If it's a five, we'll talk about it because I could do boss rush here. And I love the boss rush synergies as much as it, it pains me to pain you to say it. We're doing this for the guppy chance. Guppy items stick with you after the D4 uses. Admittedly, our HP could be better. I was about to use two keys to get like eight bombs. I guess I didn't realize that we were already sitting kind of pretty there. Uh, we don't need to use any keys to get into our rooms though. Item room, dry baby. Good item. Some would consider it a great item. And it's a six room. Let's let's do this shit. But first, let's do that shit. All right, we got a big, we got a a laser that fires to an unbelievable degree. Oh my god, we have soy milk technology. Now I think that's horrible. I I am truly believing that this is god awful now. You guys, are you seeing the absurd lack of damage being output right now? The technology laser never stops firing. To, to its credit, I'll give it that. We need to drastically upgrade our damage here. I can't even go to our other rooms. We just gotta go. I mean that sincerely. I can't go to the other rooms. I, uh, I, I gotta try to get to the shop. I guess. Oh my god, we can actually see it in working here. Uh, the reason I want to try to get to the shop is because... Uh, you know, if we get like a blue candle or a red candle or something like that, at least I can... Get out of here. Do we have special bombs? No. You know, a blue candle or a red candle would at least give me some damage to do. Please. I'm not sure the charm tiers are helping. They're actually making it a little bit more difficult to dodge. We have rotten baby flies, which I have to imagine at this point just do no damage because they do double technologies damage. It might even be tech two. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Considering we're firing it all the time as a result of soy milk. Did you see? <laughs> we have black bean. I think we might have black bean. That's what's doing our damage for us, to be honest with you, is black bean. Oh, both of them died there. That was unexpected. Keep in mind that right now we're fighting an enemy that does uh, have, like, multiple segments. So the fact that we're doing so little damage is really horrifying. At least we have blue candle. We can always, you know... We can always remember Blue Candle. So we'll use Blue Candle pretty much exclusively. Until we get a deal with the devil that gives us... I have no idea, to be honest with you. 
Very strange run. From the second I saw our character, I was like, something, you know, that boy ain't right. We do have the mind, I think, which is how we're able to see everything. Um, I don't think that's... It wouldn't be Spelunker's hat. Because we lost Spelunker's hat. Can we see it? Yeah, we can see everything. We do have the mind. Okay. Well. Might as well pick that up. One key for a spir spirit heart effect. <laughs> Effectively, I got a peanut stuck in my throat. Do we have any guppy items? No, no, uh, no such luck here. Yeah, stand still, that's right. Look at the damage difference between blue candle and our soy milk laser. Soy milk laser does zero. Basically, an unappreciable amount of damage. It's actually kind of disgusting. If we miss with blue candle, we're in for, you know, a hard time. We, speaking of which, we can never leave Blue Candle. Loki doesn't even have much HP. Oh, we have a... Do I have Isaac's heart? No, I have Isaac's heart too? Game? Does that now qualify as the worst reroll in, uh, in my Isaac career? I did not realize that we had Isaac's heart. I think that's got to be up slash down there. This is a great run when it comes to uh, killing the fire, though. I know people are like, yeah, now how does it feel, fuckboy? I shouldn't have put that there, quite obviously. Shouldn't have gotten rid of the, the D4, huh? Well, you are now correct. Or, you know, the other way that I could think of it is... You know, maybe I shouldn't have used that dice room. Whoa, whoa, hold up, though. Don't get rid of the reroll. Hey, now. Uh, okay, Infestation 2 is awesome. Our spiders are going to do not very much damage, but I guess it's in some ways the thought that counts. What are my ways out for this run? Learn how to fly. Become guppy. Generate enough flies that your army blots out the sun. I'm trying to think of like how I would do this effectively. I have that Awaz rune. Uh, I don't know what I would use an Awaz rune for, unless it's skipping by the cathedral, which you can't do. So let's look for a black market maybe with it. Uh, right, I wouldn't have been able to tell anyway. It's okay. Getting some spiders. Uh, I'm not looking forward to the mom fight, but without blue candle, we would probably, if not be dead then, we would be dead already. We don't really want magic fingers. It's very disappointing to see that the dice room have now dice rooms have now betrayed me. We got flies, we got spiders there finally. These guys don't even have that much HP. Oh, we could still get a boss rush room, which is kind of hilarious, but it's going to require no. There's too many rooms, and we do too little damage. As much as I would love a, uh, a boss, wait, we have we have turdy touch. We must. As much as I would love. Uh, getting that boss rush room for the inherent silliness of it and possibly getting like Libra for a better synergy You know not every dream can come true. I'm pretty sure that this is a like a seriously fucked up run that we're gonna lose Technically, it's not the one that's gonna cost us our streak, so I don't feel too bad about it. I suppose but um, I I really just want to survive and if we can survive if We get a deal with the devil I don't even know. Like, the only way we're going to get Libra is on the chest. you think we get it on the library, right? Haha, <laughs> no. Anyway. Um, the odds of us getting Libra on the chest are quite low. Almost as low as the odds of us making it to the chest in the first place. Am I crazy, or is this attack fly seriously rotating in the other direction that most attack flies do? I feel like I'm losing my fucking mind right now. So we're going to take the Polaroid. I'm pretty sure that this floor is going to kill us, and, and you know, in some ways, I apologize for that. But also, I hope you've had, uh, hope you've had an entertaining run. It, it, say what you want about this run; it has been entertaining. Hi, I'm Tane, your latest dancer. I'm here to entertain you. Uh, why did we get hurt on the way in? We're not. Oh, come! We must have picked up the rosary as one of our items. Do we have holy mantle? Only one way to find out. We do not appear to have Holy Mantle, we just don't get hit by the curse rooms. What up with that shit? Am I right? 
Uh, good news is, every time permanent Polaroid invincibility works, an angel gets its wings. But also, uh, we get the uh, 30 touch, which allows us to hurt enemies. I was just thinking, you know what would be awesome here? Raw liver. Would keep us alive, give us a chance at greatness, a shot at redemption. Don't want to end up a cartoon in a cartoon graveyard and all that. I really thought that A, we'd kill him, B, get out of the way, all the above. I'm not throwing this run. Play the seed, make all the dumb choices I made in the name of entertainment, and then, um, you know, you'll, you'll recognize how little damage we're doing right now, I promise. It, it ain't hard to tell. We're dead. I'm glad. We're freed from our fucking toxic prison. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the run in spite of the weirdness of it or because of the weirdness. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.